in quarantine, we're in lockdown, so you know we've got distance. That's right. That's right. Dress right, dress. Is that six foot? <laughs> so uh, I got a pile of parts in the back of the Jimmy that I drove out here under its own power. And uh, we're going to attempt to install some parts on this old frame today. Attempt? Attempt. Because, uh, like I said, I may have forgot the bolts. <laughs> I think they're in one of the boxes, though. So. Hi, right, Captain. This is the frame that will ultimately go underneath that body. And then the one that I have in the garage, I have another plan for, but that'll be down the road. Which means it'll probably be coming out here, too. <laughs> hey, at least I only have one vehicle out here now. Yeah. So, we're going to do a parts inventory and figure out what we got. Kevin's moving his Chevrolet bench. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay, all the bushings are swapped. Now we're working on the ball joint, but uh, she don't want to come out. Of course, because we don't have the right tool for it. Oh, cow. Is that one we got to go uh, go rent? We need the master kit for that one. <laughs> so uh, we're just heating up the end of the control arm there to get it to you know expand, and that ball joint should just pop right out. Alright, we'll see if this one is as easy as the last one. <laughs> um, I this one. No. Maybe. Here it's. Oh, this side it's the ball giant itself being a little crooked. It's sitting pretty flush. Got it! So that was just, that was too easy. 
That was too easy. Okay, ball joints are in, bushings are in. Took a lot longer than I probably should have, but we need to uh, get those springs. I get the uh, jack stands bush. Yeah. Up in the front here. Can you handle that? Oh, jeez. Well, you put all them, all that extra weight of control on it. It's okay. I got it. Take that. Oh, don't worry, I am. Social distance. Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing so close? <laughs> Lowered the front end. Yeah. Let's see if we can tap these bolts in while we got it ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we grabbed a hammer. Nothing to tap on, though, right? Yeah, I think we can. Got an extra set of uh, front bolts. Got a beating shaft anywhere here? Oh, what? <laughs> Watch your eyes. Noise. Torque on those? A million. Okay. Probably metrics, aren't they? I got standard metric. Okay.
charge it had when I grabbed it. Really, these batteries are going down too. Of course, the new ones that I bought that were off brand are even worse than the oldest. Good for the kids. those just yet. Proper direction for these bolts. The right way. Take the hood off. We could. We seem to be using the Chinese <laughs> blueprint a lot here. Yeah, it's up against the post there, but you don't want to fill the paint job. <laughs> That way, and I think that's how I did it. Look at that, we're going factory. Woo! That's how I stuck it in. We have to wash this frame before we put the body on it. Yes, sir. -y. She grabbed a spring. Stick it up in that lower bucket and see how what four bullets gonna fight us. Which way's top and bottom on these? The flat? This one, that's the bottom. If you look, the bottom is probably the non flat one. Okay, yeah. Oh, boy, those are gonna be fun. Oh. Yeah. Stick it up in there first. Oh, no, it catches. Okay, good. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, besides not being able to actually pass it, I'm sure it would make that Right. Uh, just ratchet strap around the frame and then just suck her down. We also have the isolators. that have to go in there, too. Oh, uh, yeah. That'll be interesting. I need to go pick up a little compressor or something. Yep. Last one. Oi! So good put the parts on car. I know. Finally. Ten years. This is where that dead frame comes. Just naturally hot. Split the wood. We'll see. So, yeah, these are definitely going to be 
Yeah, I didn't bring the book for this thing. Think of it. Do these have a left and a right? No, they are identical. It's a part number. BF. 3010? I'm The other, uh, well, you want to play too? Yes, my car. What was going on just like that on the flat side? I think you can have to sneak it in there and hope and pray. Hope it stays, it kind of doesn't fit very well. It doesn't have a indenture, it's not tapered. It's not good at all, does it? Well, how do they do this at the factory? When they put their Hotchkiss stuff in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hope and pray. Hope it stays in place. I've got mine on. Does it stay? So far. No. <laughs> Worst it could happen, make some clunky noises. <coughs> See, Axel agrees. <coughs> so you're a clunky noises. You're a clunker. <coughs> you laying down, cough, bark, coughing, barking. You lazy, <coughs> lazy old dog. Oh, he's getting up, 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 we're up. Two, oh, two, two and a half. All right, four legs up. Kept them clean. So completely rusted underneath. I don't think they were very good <laughs> before I taped them up. So. <laughs> Where do I go? Right beside you. Yeah, uh, careful with those backing plates. They are sharp. That's why I waited this long to start it, because I wanted maximum fun. Then the tape gets old, it doesn't come off. Well, it came off just fine. Spot brake calipers, what do you say? Uh, I don't remember. Possibly. Is this everything you had at your house, or did you get more stuff? I think this is everything. Yeah. So I'll go home tonight and find 17 more boxes of stuff. All the stuff we're missing, the You're steering. right, yeah. No, I haven't bought any more steering stuff yet. Send it over the list. Kind of weird that you bought just the outers and nothing else. I don't remember why I did that. There was a reason. They were on sale or something. Fill them up the shopping cart. Yeah, get, free get, get the free shipping. That's probably <laughs> what it was. This makes great video. That's what we're doing here is. Jimmy about shitty parts versus good parts. Well, this is all year one and and and. Buy tie rods at wherever. OPG I and all those different places. No Duralast. No, trying to stick with like AC Delco and 
That boy said luck. Yeah, you see Delco, Moog, that boy said good luck. Yeah. Even though they have coming from Moog. Oh, I think that's the bushings for the Jimmy. I think I need that one. What did you do, huh? You didn't pull the tape off the uh, steering wheel. Yeah, I can put it in. Of course, if we have the outers, we might be able to. You can see it now. I'm on unemployment. And I'm spending all my money on car parts. Yeah. Well, we're making. Close to what we heard. Oh yeah, we got the light. All joints are these not greasable or what? Which ones? The others? Yeah. They're the good ones. They're Global West, non-greasable. Yes. I'm just going to have to come up here. So you bottomed out. What we could do is actually take off the upper um, bump stops, and that'll give us a couple inches more. Right. So this will come down a little ways. You uh, should do that. You know, I was being stupid and screwing on the top ones here because you know, I've never done this actually part before. It's no different than building that model truck at the house, right? Technically, the top ones would probably be a little better. <laughs> put more weight on the chassis. So you want me to leave it on the top then? No, put them on the bottom, I think it's easier. Is it five eighths on these? No, no it's not. Here. Is it that good? Yeah, it's got the good battery in it. Son of a motherless goat. See the clips. What you do with the cotter pin? Just trying to keep them organized and separated. Try not to knock them off. Yeah, does that bring us down just a couple more inches, hopefully? Yep. But still not enough. You gotta come up about Four or six inches. How much did we come up? Like half an inch? <laughs> if that. So we gotta weigh this thing down. I guess there's another way we can figure out the. Uh, so I'm pretty sure. Winching it up or something. My 250 pound frame isn't gonna be enough. Just out of curiosity, you sit on the corner. Until it starts to float. Let's see how close we are just to see what we need to do. Spread the seat in. So it's pretty close. Oh, that might just work. Huh? Oh, just a little bit more. Springs are working, the springs are working. So, really, we probably just need a couple hundred more pounds on it. If there's something we could just set on it. <laughs> Unless I could sit on it also. <laughs> uh, we get creative, but. I would say let's get the tractor. Because really, all we probably need to do is put the bucket on it empty and then just kind of push it down. And yeah. Go the old okay. Well, we'll stop and pause for a sec. Over here, I move them so they wouldn't fall off. 
and I put them in a place that's really easy to get to. Jack up more now. Get it? Probably need to jack it up more. Alright, go ahead. And. Oh, stop it, y'all. Tweaking the frame. I don't know. Like, ah! Off about the same with the back as this front. I wonder if we tighten them down now since we got them kind of. What size is that? The top is, I don't know, and the bottom is maybe three quarter. Kind of like 11 sixteenths or three quarter. Barely. down and then we should be able to finish them later. Right. With all the weight on the nut, not the ones that will probably struggle. Get them tight and do it now. Alright, well those are on. Just give me the give me this. Okay. Put that guy back on. to help build the ultra wheels, that means this is farm built? Oh, 
Okay. Ready? Water coming out. Let me push him down on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parts on the right side of the vehicle. Just amazed that I'm actually moving forward with this project finally. Because you're doing all the work and I'm sitting here yelling on my brain. <laughs> you were moving forward. You were really moving forward there. I'm the one gaining shots for the security. <laughs> I guess, and we'll... What I'll probably do, because the bolts aren't that expensive, we'll go ahead and... Well, should I order? No, because you already got those bolts for the... You still need to order them for the axle end, though, on all four. So you still need another set. Okay. So you still need four more. It's all okay. So I'll go ahead and order, probably order like eight more. So how do we do? We're going this. Inboard, this. Yes. And that puts the grease fitting down on the end. Yes. The sticker is readable. properly positioned. Yeah, the thing goes on the inside. So if we do this one, find out where my sticker's out of there. I assume we'll put the bolt through here because trying to put a nut through there would suck. Oh, this is no better? You're there. Push harder. I can't. Put the tip of my thumb. <laughs> I'd like to move these. Well, this one's just
Axel. Be nice. We'll tighten it all when we put it together for real. Go back to the shop, grab a few big zip ties just to hang these up. Okay. So they look cool. They better. We can go bailing wire. So what are these? Alrighty, well that's about how far we're gonna get tonight on this frame. We get the rear control arms loose installed for now. No springs because we don't have a rear end underneath it because the rear end is still under this car. The front end, the basics are installed. Control arms, ball joints, front springs. We're going to have to grease the snot out of these and just wrap them up, but I've got all the bearings and the front brakes for that, so potentially that could be put together fairly quick. You have? Should one of these boxes should be all the... Do you have the nuts and the retainers and all that stuff? I, I don't know if I have the nuts and retainers. I have to look into that. But, but uh, <coughs> oh, let's get in here. Well, we put, you know, 100 and some odd pounds worth of stuff on it now. <laughs> oh, we were going to get zip ties to hang those rear control arms, weren't we? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we went to the shop last time? Yeah, and then they came back without them. But a uh, little bit of forward progress. Global West upper control arms, lower ball joints, Hotchkiss springs lowered in the front. I don't remember what these are. I think these are inch and a half lowered springs. If I remember right, inch and a half, but by doing the Global West conversion, it's another half inch. These are Camaro front spindles, so instant disc brakes. And just for comparison, you'll notice how flat these are. So when you go through corners, everything stays fairly vertical as opposed to the factory style, how that thing curves down when you go into a corner and that thing pivots, it actually pushes the top of the tire out which is the handling issue on these cars. So, but we got some plans for this one that we're going to tackle tonight or in the next few days but we got to do some prep work first for that so stay tuned for another video. From a Viral shutdown secret location. Say bye. Where's the off button?